Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I'm Melanie Kate Love and thank you so much for joining me here for another episode. Today I'm gonna to bring you a general reading which is gonna give you guidance around the new moon in Taurus on April the 26th, that's right. So we're gonna to begin today with going through our angel oracle cards from Doreen Virtue, which are my favorite. And then we're gonna progress into a numerology deck and then tarot. Now, if you're new to these readings, it's basically a general reading. So whatever comes up for you in this reading, whatever um, comes to the forefront of your mind, that is divine wisdom speaking to you. So if I pull up a card and something instantly sparks interest, then I want you to um, go with the flow of what you are thinking about. So with that being said, I just wanted to let you know that the new moon in Taurus is actually going to bring up some dark issues. Now, don't look at it as a bad thing. It's basically a chance for you to transform. So I have actually linked in the description um, the astrology around the new moon in Taurus from Astrology King. He is absolutely amazing. And the article below is just a wealth of knowledge. And he will shed light as to why this may be a little bit of a dark area. Go with the flow. Make sure you stay in vibrational alignment by practicing self-love. Please make sure you watch my self-love practices video. It's going to help you do things that make you happy. And when you are vibrating in the frequency of love, things that are negative don't affect you as much as if you weren't. Anyway, with that being said, let's get on to this one. All right. Angels, can we have one card for our beautiful MK Love fam? Some guidance on the new moon in Taurus on April 26th. Just one card, please. This card. Ooh, what do you desire? This is a beautiful card. Okay, you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desires. Once you clearly, clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you are ready and deserving of them, they'll rush into your life as if by magic. That's so interesting because do you remember, I think it was the new moon, we actually pulled a card that was like a change of direction. The direction has changed and it's like, what do you want? Like, what do you want? You need to tell me what do you want? It's like she's questioning herself because she's looking back and she's like, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. It's like, what is your intuition telling you? Stop second guessing yourself. It's like you have all the answers. You just have to tap into the frequency of love so you can become receptive to the answers that divine God, the universe is trying to tell you. You can achieve that by being in a meditative state, whatever that works for you. If you wanna sit down and listen to my meditation series, my favorite by far is the chakra meditation series, which helps balance and unblock all of the seven chakras. Maybe that's surfing for you. Maybe that's dancing. Maybe that's pole dancing. Maybe it's swimming. Whatever it is for you, you need to be in a state to really fine tune what you, no, not fine tune, to be able to listen to what you want. Okay, let's get some guidance on that one. Actually, let me just read. No, I don't need to read that. I'm getting good at these ones. <laughs> okay. Clarity, please, universe, on what do you desire for our beautiful MK Love fam for the new moon in Taurus? Confronting our dark side. This one. Oh, that was a quick one today. <laughs> listen up last time too that one basically links to this it's just confirming listen find what works truly best for you this one says quiet your mind beloved one and listen to the gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of I just got that song in my head don't worry be happy stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desires manifestation a quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly this is our request for you to listen okay so basically what happened is that you guys have been freaking out because you're like it's a new partner ah! and you're like i don't know what to do like this partner's come in and you're like they're saying well, what do you want and you're like i don't know what i want because you're too busy like thinking instead of just being 
Oh gosh. All right. Let's go on to my numerology cards. I've had so much fun with these cards this week. Like, I mean so much fun. You guys need to make sure that you're following me on Instagram stories, um, or Instagram in particular, but Instagram stories I've been loving lately. Um, I did a reading the other day and I got the Karmic Completion card, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, make sure you're following me so you can stay up to date. All right, universe, can we have clarity on what do you desire and listen? For our MK Love fam. Okay. Oh, sorry, I don't know if you can see that. How beautiful does this look on screen? The lighting is on point today. I already filmed this video like two days ago where the lighting was so bad because I filmed at the wrong part of the day. I can literally only film from like 11.30 to 2. That's when the lighting is good because I don't have a light. It's on my um, vision board if you check out my vision for success tutorial number two. All right, I'll stop talking because... That one? Okay. Patience. So stop getting so frustrated with yourself about the details. It's like everything's going to happen once you are calm. That's beautiful. Okay, let me read out what that one actually means in detail because this book is so detailed. If anyone wants to sponsor me, any more numerology decks or oracle or tarot I would love for you to send them to me just private message me okay number two patience patience okay this card indicates a time to stop and enjoy the present moment as nothing more can be done to achieve the outcome you desire rather than take action you are being asked to evaluate your progress and clarify your dreams which will help you manifest them sooner. This card also indicates a need to take your time and pace yourself instead of making hasty plans and decisions. Failure to do so could result in stress and disappointment. This is an opportunity to focus all your energy and attention on visualizing your dreams. I've made two videos about visualization in my Law of Attraction series. As opposed to pushing against the obstacles standing in your way, surrender the outcome to the universe and get on with living your life, allowing things to come to fruition in divine order and timing. The reason why I'm going to stress the word divine timing, I had a lot of people write on a couple of my videos last week and were saying, um, I've just, I've been trying to find the love of my life and I've been manifesting him for like five or seven months and it's still not happening. I was like, it's not happening because you are even asking me that question because you are not in a state of allowing. You are in the state of resistance. When you're in the state of resistance, you are not in the vibration of love. So it's like you have to surrender and say, universe, I surrender to um, whatever you're trying to manifest. I allow divine timing to take place when it is for my highest good. Sometimes we have to learn lessons along the way. If I give you a quick little backstory, it took me seven years from when I was in a long-term relationship, which is a four-year relationship, to now I'm in a long-term relationship now. It was seven years. I had resistance for about six years, seven years. I can't remember. It was so long ago. And anyway, what happened during that time is that I thought I was like making peace with it, but then Anytime someone mentioned his name, I was like, oh, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him, I hate him. I held on to that resistance for so long. The moment, if you watch my video, how to release emotional and physical blockages, episode two, as a part of the Law of Attraction series, it's all linked on the end card. I talk about the importance of like having a ceremony to release something. So I wrote a letter to him. And then the moment I did that, within three months, he literally walked through my front door, literally. It's just like when you're in the state of allowing, the universe can conspire to make things happen. I just heard that song from Mariah Carey. Make it happen. Um, yeah, okay, where are we up to? Stillness is the key to receiving clear and accurate guidance and patience will help you attract the outcome you desire. Now you have an affirmation for today, which is so nice. Look at this, like what a beautiful book. I like that. I patiently trust 
and surrender the outcome to divine. That's basically what I said before. This whole reading is flowing from what do you desire? Listen and just have patience. Let's get another numerology card because I really like this deck. Okay, universe, clarity please on patience. And what do we desire? And what was the other card? Listen. Okay, well, ooh! <laughs> Number one, new beginning. It's coming, my loves, it's coming. You just have to have faith. Because you gotta have faith, faith, faith. It's coming, it's coming. You don't get so fixated on the details. You have to ask the universe what you want. Um, I just lost my track of thought then. Ask the universe what you want. Stay in the state of allowing, which is love. The self-love practices. What are you doing each day to make yourself feel good? Honestly, you just really need to follow all of the guidance I've, I've laid out for you in my Law of Attraction series. And divine timing will come when it's ready. You don't have to worry about how it's going to happen. It's, it's going to happen when it's ready. But... Once you put your messages out to what you want, you have to honestly feel as if you've got it. So you, you have to feel like um, if you want a partner, how is it going to feel going to bed and falling asleep next to that beautiful person? How are you going to feel, you know? Or if, you do, if you're not happy with the way that you, no, that's don't say happy. Um, if you would like to improve your thoughts around how you view yourself, like your physical form. Um, visual, visualize yourself looking in the mirror and just, feel, just feeling like my face is just lighting up just thinking about visualizing the body that I would truly love. Like every morning I go into the bathroom, I'm like, hey beautiful. And I'm like twirling around and I was like, oh, if I pose like this and I look thinner, you know, but I love who I am now. And I feel like when you have gratitude for where you are, that's when you're able to then move on. Because if you're not happy where you are, if you're not happy being single, you're not gonna be happy having a partner because you're gonna become needy and you're gonna just like become this awful unbalanced person because someone can't make you whole. Having that body can't make you whole. Having this job can't make you whole if you are not happy and you are grateful for exactly where you are. Ugh. Okay, let's get some clarity on new beginnings. Pretty self-explanatory, but this one's always good. Okay. Okay, <laughs> this card indicates a time for new beginnings where, where there will be plenty of opportunities to create a fresh start. These opportunities play a very important part in encapsulating who you, in, oh, encapsulating, in catapulting you to where you need to be. So it's in your best interest to follow them where they may lead. By drawing this card, you are being encouraged to find the inner strength and courage to step into the unknown, which is challenging. You need to, uh, to feel the fear and do it anyway to create a brand new life. New opportunities may present themselves in an area of relationship, home or career. There might be a chance to move, study, travel, embark on exciting new endeavors. Regardless, you must pay attention to the signs and seize the moment when it arises. When you're open to new beginnings, the universe will send you the next logical step to take. So be optimistic, optimistic and ambitious and move with the changing tides. Embrace the mystery of the unknown and you will make your dreams come true. If you watch my um, visualization for success video, it was number two. I actually had a quote on the top right hand side of my vision board and I said, it said, everything is always working out for me. Everything. This week or last week, um, I got offered an opportunity to work in Hawaii um, on the island of Kauai. It was a two week contract. I was like, yes, please. And then it disappeared. And I, instead of going, are you flipping serious? Like, ah, like that money would be amazing to have. I look at it and go, everything's always working out for me. I wasn't meant to have that position or um, 
if I look back to past relationships and I was like, oh, I think he's a lovely person, I'm gonna end up with him. It's like, actually, everything's always working out for me because each opportunity gets better and better and better and better. Okay. I'm thinking tarot, but I'm not sure. Maybe just one tarot. This is the Angel Tarot from Doreen Virtue. I love it because it's silver and it's just stunning. But there's like 78 cards, so like that is a lot of cards to shuffle. We'll just get one. Universe, Angels, Clarity, Divine. Can we just have Clarity? Whoa! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh. The Hermit. Oh my god, this whole reading has just flowed. This is the Major Arcana, that's nine, which is completion. Whoa! That's the numerology of nine, the completion. The Hermit. Okay, spend some time in quiet med meditation, spiritual teaching, self-discovery. You have to quiet your mind, however the heck you do it. That's why you need to watch my self-love video. Let's see what Doreen Virtue has said about this one, The Hermit. This card signals that you benefit from spending time alone. <laughs> Listening to your inner voice. Meditation is essential. I've already said this. Why am I reading the book? I'm getting so good now. I don't even need to read this. Yeah. Uh, meditation is essential as the path to enlightenment is an inner journey. That's why so many people don't love themselves because it's like you can't take a pill to love yourself. It's the inner work and it's the hardest. No, it's the most rewarding journey you're ever going to take on your whole entire lifetime. And if you continue to make better choices with each and every day, you are going you're moving the wheel, like the wheels are in motion, like you are moving towards becoming your greatest version. That is exciting stuff. Be silent and experience the joy that comes from seeking the truth of your own heart. Learn to feel comfortable with your own company. After all, there is a difference between being alone and being lonely. This card also signifies spiritual teachings. So it can mean that you have wisdom to impart to others. That is beautiful. Or that perhaps it's time for you to find a spiritual teacher. Uh-huh. Sharing wisdom is part of a spiritual journey, especially right now. Well, in the age of Aquarius. Additional meanings. Good advice. Finding or becoming a mentor. Self-discovery. Re-evaluation of plans. And going on a spiritual quest. Whew. Okay. Let's just sum up this reading, shall we? So spend some time thinking about what do you desire. You can do this by listening to your inner guidance, by meditation, self-love practices. Watch all my videos on my channel. <laughs> Have patience, it's coming. Divine time comes when it's ready. If there's resistance, it's not gonna come. The new beginnings are on their way, my love. Have faith. That's beautiful. That's such a beautiful reading. Such a beautiful reading. We always have the most beautiful readings because you, my beautiful MK Love Fam, are such beautiful people. I just replied back to all of your comments from my videos from this week and you just blow me away. Also, um, unrelated matter, I went to a YouTube event, um, like a workshop training last week in Brisbane, and I learned that um, well, how do I word this properly? I felt that my Oracle readings don't really have a place on my MK or a Melanie Kate Love on my channel. I feel like I need another channel just from, for that side of it. Like I love making videos to help you feel amazing about yourself. And I kind of give you the law of attraction and self love in these videos, but I was thinking of creating a second channel just for my readings. Can you comment below and let me know, is this a good idea or not? Or maybe I'm gonna add a poll on the side if I can work out how to do it. But I need you to help me um, because I'm not too sure how to go because everything else fits into self-love. I suppose these kinda do, but it's kind of, like I'm trying to find I'm planning my website at the moment because I'm releasing something amazing that's coming up very shortly. But I, I'm trying to find my niche within my niche. My niche is self-love and I feel like my niche within the niche is working to, repro working to reprogram high vibrational mindsets when you are vibrating in the frequency of love. 
I don't know if this fits in there. My loves, can you help me out? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, because that would really help me out a lot. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I just wanted to remind you to continue to make better choices and vibrate on the frequency of love. And, you know, just re-watch this video if you need any guidance throughout the next month um, for the new moon that is occurring in Taurus. And have an amazing day, my loves. I will see you next episode. Goodbye.